Hello, miners, and welcome to part two of the extra large folders. Uh, I did a video previous to this with about 12 uh, extra large folders, and I kind of rank these now in order just what I think how they are and overall uh, fit, finish, price. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So we are now looking at 12. I added two of two knives to this. Uh, in that first video, I introduced them, and we got the Citivan ST128, and I forgot to do my rat. So we're going to do the original rat one. Let's start off with this Citivan ST128. First of all, it has a strong detent. Uh, so when we get to that, it, it takes some push. Uh, lockup is good, D2 steel, and I think from sharpening this thing that it is hard D2 steel. Uh, I mean, it is a little hard to sharpen, but I mean HRC, Rockwell Hardness. Uh, one thing, if you don't know, uh, the drop on this is really guillotine-y. So, got to make sure that your thumb is up there and you'll probably be okay. Uh, it does have a nice flat grind and a blade on these should be over three and a half inches. It's a big knife, has great G10, looks great. It does have a little bit rough jimping. Um, I say in another video this would be good for working with gloves. Has a nice finish on it. Uh, which is about all you want on D2. You don't want deep scratches. That's a place where rust and acids can collect. So $28. Uh, you can find them for $17 every now and then again, and they're not going to have as pretty a handle. They're going to be all solid G10, but that's the scoop. Uh, now we have a Gonzo, and this is a 741. It's not my particular cup of tea with the blade the way it looks, but forget the looks, talk about performance. It's got this nice little spot for, you know, keep your hand in place. Pocket clip, you notice, not really a hot spot. A uh, jimping, so we're gonna talk about the rat leader. Um, and the jimping on this is good, okay? The G-Lock, which is kind of Benchmade, Gonzo's version of the uh, axis lock is good and 440 st with their stone wash so it is a nice shape this one came uh dull believe it or not one of about two gonzos and i just did a little sharpening put a 20 degree edge on there fairly easy to sharpen a lot easier than this Citivin. Uh, nice and slim, doesn't deep carry, but uh, I do rate that pretty high for a work knife, and you can find them for about 20 bucks. This one you'll find under 20 bucks. The Gonzo 753, and this one is the large one, and it's big. I believe it's modeled after a ProTech. So we get this blade style on here. So it's a fancy looking blade. Makes for a nice EDC. Uh, these two, I could see myself if I was back in the oil field, uh, back in the day when I used to work on pipelines and we needed a knife. Uh, we went with bigger knives, okay? So these two would have been nice. I uh, like 440C, but that D2 is probably smoking hard. Uh, this one though, uh, this one, I don't see myself in the field with, but looking for a large EDC, uh, once you get the uh, washers broke in, there's zero play, and this is almost a uh, bench made. How do I know? I do have a bench made. I got the Griptilian, so. Uh, now I like this one, and I don't like this one. This is the Gonzo. See if we can find it here. I believe it's a 732-440C liner lock. It's like a liner lock Spyderco Endura. And the Endura is very popular. 
Uh, you got that ramp there, jimping a little rounded, but when you press into it, it's, you know, it'll leave indentations in your thumb. Full flat grind, nice little sharpening choil, something that the spider coves don't have. But these little, every little edge here is not, I mean, it's, I don't want to explain it. Very grippy, you know. Uh, they just come to a complete 90 degree. There's no chamfering in there, which is probably done intentionally. I uh, did have to center this one up a bit, uh, and I had to work with it a lot. It's running on washers, and I had to open and close it many times to get this thing um, smooth, if you will. But it's going to lock up good. And uh, if you have a spider coat Endura, you know that you love it. Uh, okay, this knife, Cold Steel, and this is the Bush Ranger Light. Uh, this knife, you guys might not consider XL. Okay, so what's it doing in this lineup here? Well, let's take a peek here. How are we looking? Yeah, not quite as long. I don't think it's really over the three and a half. What qualifies this is the blade stock. Oh my goodness, guys. That makes this knife a working type knife, okay? Uh, huge blade stock. We have a saber grind. It's only 8CR13 MOV steel. But cold steel, excuse me, is that 14? That's 14 MOV. So, you know, ergo-wise, has no steel liners. It's got this grivery-style handle. It's called a double safe, so you can't unlock it here. And you can't unlock it if you move that forward when it's in your pocket. And if you grab onto that thing, the ergos, it's going to lock your hand in place. All kinds of jimping. This is a little texture. This is a $30 knife. You could move up like this, and you can use this knife hard. So this is something I could see myself going with back in those days, and like the oil field. Uh, probably in the $35 price range. So it uh, doesn't deep carry exactly, and it's not real fidgety. And I did cut myself with this in a video. I uh, put a nice little, I drew some blood, and thank goodness I'm learning how to uh, get past that. So, uh, let's move on here. I got a couple honorable mentions. This is a large knife, and this is the Kubi Raven, and it's a very popular knife. Now, I don't see myself working with this uh, out in, again, in the field. It's running on bearings. But it's a long knife, and it's got Oz-10 blade steel. And Oz-10 competes a little bit with VG-10. They're both Japanese steels, and most people would say VG-10 is a step above. Uh, but we know the Oz-8, so this is Oz-8 plus 2. And that's a little joke. I got that from somebody else on another knife video. This is a Jelly Jerry design, and this is back when they were doing titanium clips. So when it comes to the Raven, uh, they do have stainless steel clips nowadays. See if you can get that uh, titanium clip. We got the lanyard hole, and this is not advertised as, a lot of people advertise it as G10, uh, but this particular model doesn't really come out as micarta or G10. Um, they advertise it as Space Age. Excellent, excellent jimping. On um, these ones, the price of, uh, on these things are going up. Uh, these are in the $56 range now. I think I paid about 50 bucks for it here about a year ago. And we are in September of 2022 right now. So, wow. First time I think I ever got that. So you can finger flick it uh, it's the first time guys it's working well 
I wasn't able to do that before. Uh, so this is kind of an honorable mention. Uh, 50 bucks for what you get. You get Jelly Jerry design. You get Great Ergos, Oz 10 Steel. Just all these fancy dancy, the Kubi logo in there and the titanium. All right, we're going to move on just a little bit before we get into kind of some of the best of the best. I got to give a shout out to this six leaf. Uh, this is a six leaf. I want to say the 08 Rattlesnake Design D2. This is a resin handle. We'll get into that in a little second. Uh, and one of the things I like about this, I mean, we got a honking blade on here. It's just the shape of the knife and the blade. So the, the Raven's a long blade. And this one, okay, that's what we're looking at there, is how this knife is shaped. Okay, and I in my video on this, so if my knuckles are touching, the blade is touching. You get a great use of that blade. This is a six leaf knife. Uh, it doesn't quite make it up into there because it's about $70. Uh, I think we need to get this down into about $60 range. I have no idea what resin costs or this, what they do is they kind of copper infuse this and it glows in the dark. They have a couple other scales. Uh, we do have a recessed. Oh, is that recessed? Yeah, I think it's a little bit recessed, but it does have the mushroom style screws. They are T8, T8 hardwell all, all the way around. And then we got a nice fuller. So you can thumb stud off that fuller. And you can finger flick off that fuller. You can get up here and your jimping is built in to that fuller. And it's very nice and slicey. Has excellent finish, especially for D2. So this knife is a slicer. Again, would I use it in the field? Probably not. If I was standing at a table all day and cutting, perfect, right? This is going to do, say you had to cut garden hoses for some reason all day at a table. Um, perfect. So that kind of gets an honorable mention because when we move to the next one, and again, um, this one does not have over a three and a half inch blade. This is the Spyderco Manix 2. And this one punches above its weight. And the way this one punches above its weight is just this handle, it's called an FRCP handle, very similar to FRN. The ball lock in here, very similar to an axis lock. And then exclusive spider go steel, but it could be S35 or S30, anything like that. Just Spyderco uses them, they heat treat them so well. Uh, the fact of the blade grind here, see if I can grab another flat brown blade. Um, what we're looking at, let's see here, when we go edge to edge, see the spider co has that much more, and this one's done well too, but it because where they start out here, they're so broad that they can start their grind and it's so gradual that when you get down in here, every bit when you go to cut with this, you always have what we're going to call nice amount of metal behind you. So with the Spyderco, they do come sharp from the factory. At least mine did. This is my only Spyderco. I got one on the way. And I can tell you that that's just sharp. Um, the ball lock is safe. The way you can move up in here, the Ergos, it's lightweight. The carry on this. I went with a Northwest Lynch. This is Blurple, a deep carry titanium pocket clip. Uh, running about 30 bucks on uh, Northwest Lynch. Uh, I think it's Casey Lynch. Uh, running on washers. So this, like the cold steel, 
uh, does not have that long, long blade, but you can do work. This is a work knife. I would use this in the field 20 years ago. Um, one thing, you know, let's see, trying to see how if you get your knuckles down here, you know, um, that's the one thing. It doesn't have any belly, um, but that's all right. So, Spyderco Manix 2. Now, one thing, this costs you 154 bucks. Uh, it'll set you back easily over $100 for a Spyderco Manix 2 if you get one new. And you're going to be looking at like CTS BDN1 steel which is also considered a pretty decent steel. So for 54 bucks, that one didn't fire out, we got the cold steel, and they were firing out earlier. This is the large uh, cut jack. So if we take a peek at this, and we got FRN handles on both of them, you guys can see there's some similarities and there's some differences. All right. So I'll try to get that FRN lined up. How about this way? So actually this Spyderco uh, cutting edge isn't quite, well maybe it is because of this darn thing. So what we have here, we do have steel liners. They're nested. A lockup is good. And you can actually do the same uh, as this Mannix. You get in there. That's a grip you guys like. And I'll tell you, I'm very, very similar grip and also similar grip in terms of traction. Uh, nice ergos on this. I do like the cut jack. Probably, I mean, terrific jimping. So we'll get back to that. Um, pocket clip, not the best, not deep carry. Deep carry. Uh, 50 bucks on these with D2. Um, they have had issues where their D2's not necessary. It's Chinese D2. And I don't mean that it, well, I do kind of mean that in a bad way. Um, it's not always consistent, not always performing great. Uh, here's the rat. All right. The rat doesn't need any introduction. And the rat is ranking high with me. And the rat is almost the standard for me. Um, everything on this knife is good. Okay. Oz 8 blade steel. And it's good. What I mean is... For corrosion resistance, resistance, it's been tested and it's performing above where your Oz hates on other knives are performing. The jimping I just mentioned is good. I do like that cold steel cut jack better, but this jimping is good. So if you have a rat, you kind of compare everything to it. Um, the Ergos are good. Okay, uh, what we got, the finger, first finger, second, third, you got four fingers on here. <clears throat> this pocket clip tucks in right under this pad, which is nice, and it's locked in, and it's not going anywhere. You got something known as a ricasso right here. It's this flat part, so you don't need that finger choil on your blade, and you can get out there. We got a full flat grind. We got good lockup, heavy duty liners, and heavy duty backspacers. Um, pocket clip, not super deep carry. But this one is seriously what you compare everything to. Uh, 28 to $32 is a great buy. In Oz 8, 35 brand new is a good buy, in my opinion. But the prices are creeping up on these so if you don't have a rat you might want to pick one up you can still get them in that 
low $30 range. Um, here's the thing. This is addicting. You guys hear that? The acoustics. Nothing else really has. Well, the acoustics like the rat. So I love it. All right. We'll move on. But that's where that kind of ranks. You know, I'm not really going to put these ones in any the best of. Uh, these are the best of for me. What I've determined is the best of for you depends on how you want to use your knife. But this one is underrated, and this is the Gonzo F74. Uh, F740. Um, it's FB knife made by Gonzo, 440 steel, and this is a big one. Okay, so access lock, we've gone over that. G10 on it, it's really good, but it's a big knife. So we're gonna get out this rat. Yeah, I don't know what else is a big boy on the table, but okay, that gives you an idea. Look at that. All right, so when you go, and if we go cutting edge, Still got more with this one. So if you want a rat on roids, go with this sucker. Uh, you got it. You can move up. You can get that finger in there. And we'll just grab this for fun and go basically finger choil blade cutting edge to cutting edge. All right. You guys can see that. Uh, ball lock and the G lock. Okay. Uh... Now this one, I just took and I just turned this just, just a hair. And the action just went from stiff to very nice and it locks up solid. So gotta love this one, 20 bucks F740. If you don't have one, get them. Like 16 bucks, I'm not kidding and they are a work knife. Okay, big boy. Harns, and this one is the General. And the General has the Tanto. They make one called the Warrior, and it's a drop point. Uh, we got, look at the beef of a pocket clip here. We do have some milling inside. Check out the video on this. Jimping here. Uh, what do we got here? Lock up, nice steel liners. I want to take a peek at this. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the stop pin. Let's see how. Okay. And that Gonzo is maybe competitive, if not better. Uh, D2 steel. We got a Harns logo. Got a nice transition point and blade shape jimping is good not wrap good but good extends out here uh, now this one is on washers and this is really impressive for this knife of course the blade is heavy uh, but very nice knife if you want to get some work done uh, you got uh, plenty of Handle to hold on to, and you got a big blade. Let's take a peek at cutting edge to cutting edge, and the Gonzo's out there. So they're both pretty, pretty uh, comparable in size, uh, 20 bucks or less, and 40 bucks or less. So let's take a peek. Probably the big monsters on the table. Yeah. All right. So, depending on what suits you, that's what we're looking at. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining the miner. Talk to you later.